The Listen Foundation works with children who are deaf and hard of hearing, and we teach them how to learn spoken language by listening. And I know it's hard to get your head around that because how does a child who's deaf listen? Well, what happens is when you receive either hearing aids or cochlear implants, you suddenly have access to sound, but your brain doesn't know what to do with that sound. Mm. And so what the therapists do with these children is they teach them how to make sense of sound. So they actually learn how to hear. Huh. And once you learn how to hear and you can discriminate words and and all the sounds in your environment, then you can learn to talk by listening. And that is how you and I learned how to talk. Sure. So the result of that is a much more natural sounding voice, and it allows the children to be part of the hearing world. And the interesting, I've seen uh, or listened to some of the children that have gone through the program, and it's quite different than signing and lip reading. Is that correct? Oh, it, it's very different. Um, the, the main distinction is the listening component. We work very mm -hmm. hard on the training the auditory center of your brain. And so that, that's the biggest difference. And what that means to the child is research has shown that at least 50% and up to 90% of what a child learns is through incidental listening, just mm -hmm. conversations around them. So if I'm using sign language or I can only lip read, all of that information that's happening around me, I miss out on. Right. So that's huge. It's huge from a socialization standpoint and it's huge from an academic standpoint. Why isn't all children that are deaf going through this program? It's an outreach situation. It's not knowing the program exists. And, and that's the critical piece that we really need to work on because with today's technology, with cochlear implants and high powered hearing aids and auditory verbal therapy, all children that have a hearing loss should be on an equal playing field as typical hearing peers. What is the difference in the lifetime cost between those that learn to sign or lip read versus those that, that understand how to speak and listen? Mm -hmm. So you look at the lifetime cost of medical costs, special education costs, under and unemployment, and you're looking at $1.2 million that society per, assumes. Per child. Per child. Conversely, you go through an auditory verbal therapy program, it for an entire year costs $5,000 per child. Oh my gosh. You have wow. this program for four or five years and that child is independent, excelling at school because this is a literacy based program. So auditory verbal kids who are deaf tend to score higher in reading than their typical hearing peers because they have such a strong literacy foundation when they enter school. Mm -hmm.